Congratulations. Anyone in the audience to put a time? Proclamation? Yes, sir. Is there the next item on our agenda or appointments for the Fourth of July tonight? <coughs> is, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any of that? We don't have any. We don't. I kind of like the fact that Bob did because I'm not going to tell the collector's office <coughs> and in order to uh, allow for expenditures we actually need to have a standing committee uh, to vote on things and uh, have things organized so uh, we voted to waive policy uh, wait for a recommendation from the uh, citizens uh, committee which is spearheading the effort here uh, for the recommendations they put forth five names uh, for our consideration and I would uh, ask that the board Support their recommendations. Each and every one of these people has been uh, very actively involved. Some of them very actively involved for years in town, but also uh, others uh, more recently uh, getting involved in, uh, in this effort to uh, bring back uh, the festivities of the Fourth of July. Stephen, the motion was in our packet. There were four names. Was I believe there's five. Yeah. Added now? five. Uh, there's five. Uh, now. Okay. Uh, do you have five, Mike? Is there a motion? I have five, sir. Yeah, okay. uh, Fred's name spelled right. Last name. Who? Chalmers. Yeah. 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 You want me to read them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's ERS. Yeah, I'm looking at the. I think it's spelled wrong though on my motion. Oh, it's spelled it in ERS. Yeah, it's supposed to be E, right? It's ERS, yeah. I'm looking at yeah, it here. ERS. Okay. Okay, that's I'll the first spell. <coughs> One second, sir. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I move to place in nomination the following names for appointment as members of the 4th of July Committee for indef Indefinite Terms. <coughs> Fred Chalmers, 19 Strawberry Lane, Ann Falade, 24 Abbott Road, Joseph Vino, 11 Rock Street, Joy, I believe it's Bag, ba Bag, Bade, B -A -I -G? Big, 21 Mount Vernon Street, Reading, Mass, John Magazine, 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 Junior, 4 Deer Run Drive. Frisco, second by Mr. O'Leary. Any discussion? Mr. O'Leary? Do you have a roll call? Move 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 no, we didn't have a roll call. On the motion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. And now the people will go to the uh, appointment slip. Already did. Yep, and they'll uh, have to get sworn in. Oh, the yep. appointment slips are usually mailed out, right? Yeah, okay. I have them right here. Oh, do they have to come in and get them? And um, yeah. town yeah. clerk yeah. needs to sign them. And then yeah. yeah, they get sent in with some instructions, so they'll know. Any questions, they can call me too. I can uh, walk them through it. So, for some strange reason this evening, we're on schedule. Right now we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to last. It won't last. <laughs> going back to uh, truck exclusion, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Take it, Mr. Connor Bell is going to start off with the introduction. Mr. Bell, join us. Or is that you? Uh, no, it's Mr. Connor. Okay. Mr. Good evening, sir. Uh, Public Works Department will introduce and make a presentation of the status of the Fort Campbell Main Street truck exclusion. Basically, I'm talking mostly roof, bottom, bottom roofs, and uh, 
information they had on the uh, enforcement. Uh, Mike Sorgan is going to talk about the traffic analysis that you conducted last summer. Um, we also just recently, Friday, got data from the school department relative to traffic stuff on Park Street, which uh, will tie in. I'm going to speak about alternatives and impacts. If you have a truck exclusion, you need to have an alternate route. And every route has pros and cons, so we'll be addressing that. Uh, I'll be addressing the, uh, at this stage, what we need to do to move forward. Brief history of the uh, the issues at hand. Um, this was brought to uh, our attention by the community group, um, let's say headed by uh, Nate Foss from uh, Chestnut Street. Um, the issues are, are uh, obviously the, the heavy uh, commercial vehicle use in the greater New Street area. And I say greater New Street area because it incorporates uh, not only New Street, but Chestnut Street, by Monahans, by the parks, uh, to incorporate the intersection of Chestnut and Naval Street. So it's that whole general area, of, uh, including up the Nav. Uh, <coughs> we had several meetings internally, and I'll just briefly go over what we have uh, done in our action, uh, our action plan, and our after action uh, results. Uh, <coughs> Uh, we briefly started the, uh, with a, an internal uh, reorganization of our department with uh, a traffic unit that was scheduled and assigned to that area for a specific period of time with heavy enforcement. Um, those enforcement actions took place in the summer of 2010. During that enforcement phase of the action plan, we uh, had 63 deployments. Uh, we stopped uh, over 80 vehicles, we issued 65 citations, and we did a brief, uh, during our uh, assignments, they were in varied times throughout the days and, and uh, weekends, but we, we counted, physically counted 197 commercial vehicles. During that time period, it was determined that, that although the truck count was high by uh, a visual standpoint, we didn't observe any commercial violations whether that be speeding. Uh, we're not equipped, just for a point of reference, we're not equipped not only in training but in equipment to uh, enforce commercial vehicle laws. The majority of the commercial vehicle laws are um, through the Department of Transportation. We have to be trained for that. Through the, uh, and right now there's very few departments in the Commonwealth trained for that. It's mainly a um, state police function. So a lot of those vehicles um, were not trained to enforce a lot of the violations. If it's safety related or if speed related or motor vehicle infraction, clearly we have the authority. But it, when it comes to uh, the commercial vehicle uh, safety, uh, excuse me, equipment, it's through the state police. There was one uh, assignment that we did, uh, did respond to that area with the assistance of the Mass State Police. And uh, there was, um, 11 trucks stopped in a period of four hours. Five were placed out of service for safety related issues. Um, 14 driver violations, 72 truck violations, three overweight, viola uh, overweight violations. Uh, these were all issued by the Mass State Police in cooperation with the North Bend Police. After we moved from the directive patrol phase of our action plan, we went into the research uh, phase research phase was incorporated our safety officer, so officer Tilton, along with town engineer Mike Sorgan, to re-sign re and repost the area, uh, make sure that all the speed limit signs were the right distances, right heights, right zones, also to incorporate uh, playground si signs in the area that may have been uh, missing, uh, and that was completed in September of 2010. We did an analysis of the accident history and um, through that, this one section of Chestnut, New, <coughs> and Upton, we only recorded in the last 10 years one uh, commercial vehicle truck uh, accident in that area. However, 
through the Chestnut and Havel Street e intersection, I believe we had 22 motor vehicle crashes um, in, a, in a, oh, I get that number, uh, a very short period of time. I'll get that, those dates when those accidents occurred in the Chestnut and Havel. Chestnut and Havel Street tra is traditionally our worst intersection in North Reading as far as motor vehicle crashes are concerned. Um, once we concluded the research phase, and we went into uh, exploring the opportunity of, of potentially training with the state police to be certified in DOT training so we could issue our own citations. Um, I can tell you that that fell through, not only from the state police funding aspect of it, we were scheduled to go to a class, but through retirements in the police department and people getting reassigned, um, we didn't have the opportunity to even send the people to training because of manpower issues. Even if we did, the funding from the state police was cut anyway, so we didn't have the ability, the class was never posted. We did get a written uh, approval from the state police that they would send us, but at this particular time, it, uh, it hasn't come through yet. The conclusion was based, uh, we, we did base a conclusion at the, at the after action report that clearly this area does suffer from heavy commercial vehicle traffic noise related to uh, um, those vehicles. <laughs> if it's for me, I'll call back. <laughs> um, th this, this neighborhood does suffer from, like I said, uh, heavy commercial vehicle traffic. It's been documented. Um, I think the truck studies will show that. Um, it's, not, it's not a unique situation to any neighborhood in North Bay that has seen over the years increased traffic. Um, you know, the police department has done, uh, it's done its homework, it's done its research. We've reached out to whatever truck companies we could identify that were the heavy users, asked for voluntary compliance. Unfortunately, they have, um, I believe, are still uh, voluntary, uh, voluntarily complying to seek alternate routes. Um, that has worked out, um, and that's basically where we're at today uh, with the presentation of the numbers from the, from the uh, truck study. Mike? Good, good evening. Good evening. Um, just to go back a couple of years, uh, the town received a petition from the residents of uh, the New Street, Chestnut Street, Cedar Street area. Uh, back in July of 2010, uh, one of the items included in that petition was a request for a, like a traffic study, a truck, ex a truck exclusion. Um, in order for the truck exclusion to even be considered, a traffic study needs to be performed. Um, this item was brought before a town meeting uh, in, two in fall of 2010 and money was raised and appropriated to, to fund this study. Um, the Department of Public Works engaged the services of Bayside Engin Engineering to evaluate the existing traffic volumes on Chestnut and, and New Street to determine if the truck volume warrants had been met for a truck exclusion as defined in the Massachusetts Amendment to the MUTCD, which is uh, basically a design guide. Um, this document requires between 5 and 8 percent of the average daily traffic to be trucks with a carrying capacity over two and a half ton. Even though the funds were appropriated back in the fall of 2010, we, we felt it uh, would serve everybody's purpose to wait until the summer where truck traffic, uh, it, we realized, was, was heavier than, than any other season. Um, Automatic traffic counters were placed on New Street and on Chestnut Street between New Street and Central Street. These counters recorded traffic in both directions on each street. In addition to traffic volumes, the ATR counts also provided a breakdown of the total volumes into cars and trucks with the truck volumes divided by the number of axles. A vehicle with two axles and four tires uh, stands